Oh, how are you all doing there, folks? I hope and kicking goals in your neck of the woods. And welcome to the Galactic Federation. You're on the Druid ship. This is Earth One, and we're navigating out in space, keeping an eye on the beautiful planet Earth as she goes through this period of ridiculous transformation. Human consciousness is expanding and the planet is changing. Some think there is an end we're coming towards, but in spite of appearances, it is indeed an upward spiral. On today's transmission, we're going to be checking out uh, Earth Sanctuary World Nature Center. Danny's going to take you on a tour of the uh, hybrid energy system. Then we're going to cut back, look at some uh, climate change news. And uh, after that, we might uh, play you a bit of MILK, the uh, the one and only Razzle Dazzle or Tenerife, the uh, ridiculously crazy theme tune to the uh, the wildest, wildest galactic all-star team. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into uh, go say good day to Danny Boy down there in the depths of, uh, of Earth Sanctuary World Nature Centre. We'll see you guys in a few moments. Welcome back to Central Australia. It's nice to see Earth One floating up there and I bet ET activity is going off like a frog in a sock. Here I am at the uh, Energy Hybrid Centre. Let me turn the camera around. Isn't she just a perler? Look at that. And the lovely windmill up there. Minus the windmill because of the big wind that blew her off. It is essential that every household that can conceive of the understanding that the climate is in free fall, that we must start doing an energy audit on all our appliances. It's a simple strategy. It's just at least taking the concept and the understanding that every appliance that you have in your house requires some form of energy. Uh, and if you're uh, connected to the grid where you are sucking up carbon and putting carbon back out into the atmosphere, causing all sorts of grief for our climate, then you need to do an, an audit as soon as you possibly can. That is just essentially giving you some kind of uh, parameters of understanding what your household is consuming. It's a very, very simple thing. If it's consuming too much, start pissing it off. This is no different from understanding there is a meteorite hitting for our planet and there's going to be an impact and we need to make sure that when this impact occurs on our planet, whether it be the uh, climate just going out free fall condition, then you need to be ready. There's uh, many things that we need to do on top of an energy audit and uh, that's what we're working towards here at our Sanctuary World Nature Centre with our dome village looking at the next generation of housing and infrastructure for the superstars on planet Earth. Tommy, back to you in the craft. I'll see you shortly back in the homestead. Yeah, great stuff there, Danny. You're a champion. That's looking fantastic. Let's carry on here. 
Uh, we're going to get on to some wonderful Earth Changes news, see what's going on from around the world, have a bit of a look at uh, just how serious these uh, inundations are occurring. And uh, firstly, we're going to cut uh, to the website, which is millicom.com. If you do get the chance, check it out on the World Wide Web. And going on, as you can see on screen there, there's the beautiful site there with our craft beautifully and languidly uh, nestled above the horizon. Uh, let's go down to the 11th day of January 2008 and our first news off the rack is uh, Iraq again snowfall right across Arabia it fell on Baghdad today for the first time in living memory and delighted residents uh, declared it as an omen of peace and wouldn't that just be wonderful if that were the case going on to Hawaii the North Shore waves kept lifeguards busy on Thursday double digit size waves at the uh, Waimea Bay that would have kept the surfers going and isn't that a sign of how you're doing at climate change also Hawaii lava from uh, the Mount Kilauea, the uh, beautiful mountain range, the volcanic mountain range there, Thursday crept toward a largely abandoned subdivision on the big island that was nearly wiped out by an eruption that began 25 years ago. In Ecuador, we've also got more volcano activity. Papua New Guinea, we've got again a volcanic activity. This is all in addition to additional uh, uh, pressure and water being introduced into the oceans, placing pressure on the plates, causing eruptions, imminent eruptions. Mozambique is uh, popping up again. 45,000 people in Mozambique have been displaced by flooding. Again in Australia, up in the tropics, we've got uh, a considerable rain going on and uh, brought by a cyclone depression just days ago. Um, again, we're uh, receiving a lot more uh, cyclonic depressions in Australia to the northeast and northwest. It's all uh, more news in uh, Britain. Uh, storm uh, activity going on there. Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, again, very severe thunderstorms occurring. And uh, Illinois and Alabama uh, both uh, have got high, high and heavy rain and uh, some serious tornadoes over there in Alabama. More news in Washington. More news in uh, in other parts of Europe. Um, check out the website millicom.com. And, uh, and find out the details of those activities. Uh, without further ado, we don't have much time. Uh, let's get ready for uh, a little bit of MILK and uh, find out what's going on. Here's a um, bit of a snippet here. Let's pop it in the, uh, in the finder and give you guys a bit of a how you doing. Anyway, two screen, check this out. Don't understand the ships and crafts and bright white lights that spread across the land. 
See you tomorrow, folks. See you soon.